man, they got a toy roach, a pullback roach. Pull it back and watch it run. Looks real. Scare your friends. Yikes. That's gross. What I need a toy roach for, man? I got enough of them at the house. <laughs> Yeah. All right, y'all, the eye of the tiger. That's the look that you got to have with everything you do. So before we get into the video and what this video is about, man, I need to shave, man, line myself up, though. But it's coming back. But, yeah, man, look at this. This is what we about to do. All right, YouTube. Before you get into this video, hit the like button for the algorithm. Um, share the video, word of mouth, Facebook, whatever. Um any other form word of my whatever but i won this hundred dollars and i also got some other winners these are from my last few videos if y'all have watched you know um so i'm gonna go cash these and i'm gonna keep playing man gambling addiction is real but um we about to go not joking about it but i really yeah. <laughs> if you know me then you know but uh but we about to go hit the gym i got laundry to do i got a lot of stuff to do this is my only day it's my last day i've had the weekend off I did overtime on my day off Friday. I did 15 hours on my day off voluntarily because I'm on my money stuff right now. I'm a grown man. But that's one of the reasons I can afford to play like this. I don't tell people to play like I bought three whole packs in one day before. That's 900 bucks. I spent $800 on Powerball tickets like last year or earlier this year. I don't remember. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Um not saying I'm rich or nothing. I just prepare myself for that stuff. So at the end of the day, my lottery playlist shows me winning, shows why I play like that. But um, I turned fifty dollars to three thousand dollars in a minute, y'all. Whoever ain't seen it, don't believe it. Go watch the video. Go to my lottery playlist. I'm gonna link it below. But let's go hit the store real quick. Hey, buddy, what you been doing? Oh, shoot. All right, I cashed them and I spent the whole thing 150. I got $5 left cuz I didn't want to buy a $5 ticket. Um I'm gonna go somewhere else and, and play this $40 or scratch these and then see I don't know. I'm probably going to do that. But um I got 7, well I got $5 right here. I got some more money in my pocket so homeless guy I'm gonna get that too right outside. So you know what I'm saying? It's all good. So I pulled up to the other BP, and I'm going to go ahead and do this 40. Never mind, they closed, so how the heck y'all closed? It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. That's bad business. We're going to go. My laundry, I'm going to do laundry after the gym. I'm glad I stopped because I didn't take my pre-workout yet. Let's go take my pre-workout on the way to the gym. Remember, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show my workout. I'm going to show maybe my laundry stuff. This might be a try video, but the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and scratch the tickets. Not for suspense, it's just because I'm out and about. There's no reason to scratch them right now, you know. But, yeah, man, if I was sitting in the store using one of my strategies, but uh, I ain't using that strategy today. I got so many strategies. But that $40, what I'm going to do with that is it's part of the strategy. Instead of, since I couldn't do it right now, I'm going to see what I want out of these, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go from there. I might go back to the same store. Like if I got six of these right here, for instance. If all six of them lose, I'll go right back. But at the end of the day, somebody probably already bought those tickets. But piggybacking, man, I'll probably send the store and piggyback. You don't know what piggybacking is? Look up my lottery strategy, dog. Hey, for real. Rapid time fitness lottery. Not just anybody's lottery strategy. Mine. <laughs> All right, what pre-workout are, are y'all probably wondering? What pre-workout are they taking? Anybody that know me know my one of my number one go-tos is Mr. Hyde Extreme. I am not sponsored by them in any way, so I'm backing the product. Says it's a good product on my own merits. I'm not sponsored by them, but if you type in Mr. Hyde Extreme Pre-Workout Review or anything I do with Mr. Hyde, most likely you're going to see one of my reviews. So they should be sponsoring me, dog. Like, at the end of the day, hey, they saw the video. But, um, yeah, man, let me uh, go to the gym. I take a scoop of this. I'm gone. I, ain't go, I got the pump and I got the extreme. I ain't going to take the pump. I don't care about the pump right now. Um, I work tomorrow. I'm probably going to take the pump by next workout. Um, but yeah, man, let's go hit the gym. All right, y'all, I just thought of something on the way to the gym. A lot of times when I be driving around the city, whether I'm in Clemson, whether I'm here in Anderson, or anywhere else, people that I personally know be like, oh, I seen you over there on the video, and I be like, yeah, thank you for watching my video. But then they be asking me like, where you live at? Do you live over? No, I don't work out anywhere near. I don't do anything near where I live. I don't like, I'm different, all right? 
people who ask me where I live, I'd be like, none of your business, dog. None of your business. I like my peace of mind. I don't want people to run. All right, y'all. We pulling up to the gym. Let me show you. And this is the reason why. Hopefully, it ain't a bad day, but it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't like working on the daytime, period. Whether it's 9 o'clock, whether it's 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, afternoon, day, whatever. I like the early morning where there's nobody there. And um, a lot of people will wonder why. People that don't work out, I get it that you don't get it. That's the one thing I do understand in this world. The difference between me and a lot of people in this world is people usually don't understand that they don't understand. Um, it's also against the rules to film, so... You know, so it's easier for me to film 2 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that. But I be telling people, man, don't be just going to the gym 2 o'clock in the morning. It be weirdos everywhere, not in the gym, but outside of the gym. Like, you can, anything can happen to you at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, don't just come 2 o'clock in the morning because you're trying to see me. Parking not, lot is not that packed, so I might have a really good day. A lot of people will be like, oh, you don't own a gym, and people can be in your way. It's a public place. and uh, Yes, I get that. Right. That's why I usually go at the times I usually go. I'm actually respecting those people. Let me go get my belt. I got my water, you know. I always forget my belt, man. I be in there deadlifting, beltless, which is good. I'm going to squat. I'll probably go squat in deadlift. I don't know. I ain't made up my mind yet. But I want to deadlift. It's been about a week or two since I deadlift, and I want to feel powerful. Keep in mind, a belt does not save you from bad form. It's actually beneficial to lift beltless for the most part, in my opinion. Um, good form. Do the best form as you can. Nobody has perfect form, um, but you don't want terrible form either. That's not an excuse to say, I'm going to just lift anyway. A lot of people put on a belt, and they say, I got a belt on. It doesn't matter how I lift. Yes, it does. This belt does not save you, you know what I'm saying? A belt is more for, you know, pressure to, to lift. It helps you lift heavier. You know, there's a little bit of safety. It's 90% pressure, 10% safety. It's not really a safety thing, you know what I'm saying? As most people would think, you know? You gotta remember, you are a blank slate. If you're a beginner, if you just started, or you ain't, you've been doing it, but you ain't that good at it, you are a blank slate, you need to learn, you know what I'm saying? We going in there right now, but before I go in there, man, I also want to say something about people being in the way. People being in the way, I'm respecting them by going in at the times I usually go in. I'm staying out of their way. No, you don't own anything, unless it's your house or something like that, or your personal gym or something like that, but if you're in a public gym, you don't own it. But no matter where I go, I don't know how you feel, but no matter where I go, me, Rapping Time Fitness, Anthony Miller, if you were my real name, no matter where I go, I own my personal space. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get started. Here's my gloves and my belt. I only use my gloves when I start to lose hand grip. So when I'm doing lighter weight, I don't use it for that. And my belt also, I use that when I feel a certain weight. So just to train myself, I go beltless and gloveless. Uh, let me go ahead and start up. This is the deadlift. So let me go ahead and set my bar up. A deadlift is from the floor, so you want to put the bar down. Not right there. This is a rack pull. This up here is a squat, and you come down. Of course, you go down a lot farther than that. This is a rack pull. You go here or slightly above or below the knee, above the knee. But no, we're doing deadlift, so the bar needs to be on the floor. But I like to start with it right here so I can put my plates on easier. Do not make the workout harder than it is. Your setup is very important, especially when you're lifting heavy weights. The heavier, a lot of people say, oh, this doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Those are people that lift lightweight. I'm um, not bragging on myself. I don't lift the heaviest weights in the world. These right here are 45-pound plates. You want to make sure you know how much a person is lifting if they're talking about how much they're lifting. Why? Why is that important? Maybe it's not important to you, but it isn't to me. Um, we're two different people, but at the end of the day, a lot of guys, influencers, they use fake plates or they use bumper plates and they fool you with how much weight they're actually lifting. So I put that on the floor. But let me show you what I was talking about. Matter of fact, before I show you what I was talking about, 
I'm starting off with one plate on each side. This is 135 pounds. If you're a beginner, you should start here or lower. This is a warm up for me. You know what I'm saying? Easy money, easy weight. You want to work on your form before you start going really heavy. Nobody's form is perfect, not even mine, not even power lifters. The professionals of the world, their form isn't perfect. But um, I'm going to throw 225 on here, three, four, five plays more, then that's the talk to me weight. This right here is the talk to me weight if it's on bench press. You get to 225, everybody's going to come in the gym and talk to you, whether you're doing it for reps or whether whatever. A lot of people say, oh, that ain't a lot of weight, though. But if you don't do it, you don't understand what I mean. If you never lift any heavy weight, it's just like anything else. If you don't do something, you don't firsthand understand. I can tell you to my heart's desire how it feels to be a tiger trainer or lion tamer or something like that, but I've never done it. I never plan on doing it. I cannot tell you firsthand how that feels. So right now I'm just feeling my body. As I'm warming up, you got to remember that you're lifting this weight with your body. It's not about just gripping and ripping. It's not about just going down there and pick it up. Squeeze your glutes, feel your hamstrings. Um, yeah, I wasn't feeling on myself or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, you want to have that mind-muscle connection. You know, it, it saves you from injury. It doesn't save you from injury, but it gives you a better chance of not getting injured. Um, my hamstrings actually feel a little tight today, but I'm going to go ahead and lift anyways. I'm going to go ahead and put three plates on here um, on each side. When you say three, four plates, two plates, whatever, we're talking about each side. Of course, this is going to be six plates, but in lifting lingo, you count one side. Of course, you want both sides to match, though. Put that on there. Half of the workout is putting your weights on and taking them off. My gosh, my golly, my guy. You know, if you don't lift, then you, you just watch it. You don't know how it feels. Um, Three plates on that side, two plates on that side. What's wrong with that bar? I said that wrong. I said that backwards. You want both sides to match. You know what I'm saying? You don't want two plates on that. You lifting that, you're going to have an awkward day. You're going to get injured, all right? So you want it to match. So I got three plates on each side. A lot of people say, oh, that's common sense. Also, I didn't put my gloves on. I didn't put my belt on because to me, this is not heavy weight. But if you are a beginner, you shouldn't even be attempting this. Even if you can pick it up, you're going to pick it up with bad form because you haven't practiced. You don't have that hands-on experience. See these 25s or these 10s right here? That's what you should be starting with. But these right here, let me show you something. Here's 10 pounds too, right? 10 pounds, just like I showed you them 10 pounds. Those are bumper plates. These are just regular plates. Um, also, these are octagon plates. I wouldn't lift with octagon plates on deadlifts. But you see the size? See what I'm saying? You don't want these small plates because you're going to tear your back up because you got further to reach. The bar path is going to be different because the bar height is going to be different. You see what I'm saying? These 10 pounds are the same size as those 45 pounds. You see what I'm saying? They're the same. They're not the same thickness. They're not the same weight, but they're the same size around the circumference, I guess. The bar is going to be way lower if you use those smaller plates. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you got deficit deadlifts and things like that. We're also talking about hand placement, um, grip. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got overhand, double overhand, which looks like that's that's mixed grip. Double overhand is um, when you have two hands. Look, when you do mixed grip, Keep your arm straight because all of that weight is going to be on your bicep. You do not want to bend your arm. You're going to tear your bicep out. You're going to literally be injured. I know one dude who's injured for the rest of his life. That's why beginners, you want double overhand. Don't ever do double underhand. You know what I'm saying? I got a video called Rapid Time Fitness, the most important deadlift video on YouTube. And yes, there's guys on YouTube lifting triple the amount of weight that i'm lifting but they ain't teaching you how they just oh you, you just lifted a lot of weight oh you seen him lift a lot of weight it was exciting great but did he break it down look up my most important video rapid time fitness most important deadlift video um why am i taking so long to get to the bar i think this is a scene that i was supposed to edit <laughs> oh my gosh for those who still here there i go in the mirror if you want to see me all right we doing 315 not heavy weight, but like I said before, my hamstrings feel tight today for some reason. Um, when you're lifting, where you're a lifter and you've been lifting for years, 
You know how to listen to your body. You know when to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. You know what I'm saying? The deadlift is the most safest and the most dangerous lift of all for different reasons. See, look, that's the reason it's the most safest. It's the most dangerous because you could tear yourself up, but at the same time, it's the most safest because you could just leave it on the ground, literally. That simple. That's what it was. That was a scene I was I edited here, but I was supposed to erase that scene. I got to really work on my editing skills, man. I need an editor. I need to I ain't making no money, so I can't pay nobody. Anybody want to work for free? <laughs> Hit me up. No, nah, I don't really because I like doing stuff myself cuz at the end of the day, working with people, that's why I don't have workout partners. Working with people only leads to a long conversation. Everything leads to a long, this is the same lift, so I felt, but everything in the world leads to the long conversation, man. I hate doing stuff, man. But surprisingly, nobody, right now I'm just sitting there, I'm contemplating, should I try it again for one rep? Um, if it's not, if it doesn't come up right, I could just leave it on the floor um, because I don't have anything to prove. Um, I've been doing videos for three years. And everybody that watch my videos see me lift way more weight than this. You see me lift four plates. You see me lift five plates if you've been watching me for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Four and a half plates, five plates on each side. You know what I'm saying? So three plates is nothing. You know what I'm saying? I can hit this for 10 reps. Also, in my opinion, a deadlift shouldn't be lifted for a million reps. I just left it there. I just gave up. Like, you know what? Live to lift another day. I don't care. I don't care who's watching. I post this. It's on YouTube for the world to see. I ain't gonna get nothing but like 50 views. But 50 people right now are watching me fail. And what am I doing right here? Is this the same thing? Don't tell me I did that again. This was a scene I was supposed to erase. No, I think I tried it again. I think that's a whole different... I'm tripping. But but stay, stay tuned though. My lottery tickets are next. And I went to Dollar General. I did a Dollar General shopping haul. Um, I did a lot of things. I'm about to do laundry. This this is a multitask video. So I stood there. Yeah, this is the same scene I was supposed to edit it. Hey yo, I live by the code. The game is to be sold, but not to be told. You wanna mess with me, dog? You better walk on down the road. If I dig yo, it's like gold and cash for gold. You'll get sold. I'm the type of dude that a frog get told. Yo. <laughs> Alright y'all, point the camera at the road instead of me, so I won't be looking at the camera. A lot of people wonder why I do that. At nighttime, I usually do that because you can't see me. But in daytime, I still do it. Why? Because I know my flaws, you know what I'm saying? What's so bad about that? You look at the camera instead of looking at the road. My God, my gosh, my golly, I know you didn't just answer that. You didn't ask me that question. What's, what, what's bad about not looking at the road when you're driving a car? I ain't gonna answer that, even though you didn't really ask it. But some people, you know, might, if I get 50 views, which that's usually what I get, there's gonna be two people that's gonna say, oh! <laughs> but no, nah, man, you don't, I'm not answering that. I'm trying my best to not answer that, because what? why would you wanna look at the road instead of the, 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 the whatchamacallit? You see what I'm saying? I can't even think right when you, when you ask me a question like that. We wonder what's a distraction. Why? Why do you feel distracted when people do or say certain things? Um, I be like, man, dude, man, dog. You know what? Like I said, I gotta go to Dollar General, and I'm probably. Oh, let me talk about the gym. Okay, working out, deadlifting. Um, see right there, I'm looking and I'm thinking. Deadlifting. The deadlift can be the most dangerous or the most safest lift. I didn't do my deadlift. I, that was only 315 pounds. No, 300 and... Yeah, that's 315. 315. 315 is a baby deadlift for me. If you just started deadlifting, like I was saying, hopefully I said in the voiceover, um, and the reason I do voiceovers instead of talking in the gym like I used to, 
um, three years ago when I started my channel is because if you go back to my very first video, I had copyrighted music in every video because I did not know how to edit. I didn't even know about muting. The most simplest stuff. I'm still not really good at it. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I put out what I put out, you know what I'm saying? But the reason I do voiceovers instead of that is because of the copyrighted music. So I have to mute that. You know what I'm saying? I used to talk in the gym. I, I, I got to mute that and then voiceover or I'm going to get, you know, copyright. Um, you, ain't, you don't want to do that. For people that don't do YouTube, most of my fans are fellow YouTubers. Shout out to y'all. Um, but, you know, the rest of y'all that don't do YouTube, well, the ones that do, you need to, and don't know this, you need to know that you don't want a lot of copyright in your in your video. You don't want none, really. But, um, I mean, there's ways around it, I think. You could say, I don't own this music, or tag it, or I don't know. I really don't know, so I don't take the chance. You know what I'm saying? But on um, the deadlift can be the most dangerous lift. Out of the compound movements, the bench press, the squat, you know, the overhead press, or anything that's compound, compound movement meaning, um, a lot of people mistake compound movement for just the, just the power lift and lift. You know, the flat bench, the deadlift, the squat. You got the high bar squat, the, the low bar squat, the sumo deadlift, the conventional deadlift, and many other deadlifts like the RDLs, the Romanian deadlift, the stiff legged deadlift. Um, all kinds of deadlifts. That's why there are going to be different forms. Um, different people have different bodies, lengths of their legs, their arms, their torso. Um, everybody's going to look different on their deadlift. So people that judge your deadlift need to shut up half the time. Now, if you're a beginner, there's things to learn. But if you've been doing it, you're seasoned like myself, then no, your form isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than most of the people that's going to critique your form. Maybe people that don't even lift. So the reason, so I'm just getting that out the way. People that don't even lift, uh, don't tell me nothing. Show me what you can do. Show me that you're better than me at it. Then tell me something. People that's better than me, there are people that's better than me. People that's better than me usually don't say nothing. They usually say, wow, you're doing great. You got good form, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? People come up to you in the gym that don't even lift or don't even deadlift. Oh, you shouldn't do it like that or you shouldn't do it at all. Da, da, da. Shut up. That ain't what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is the reason why I say it's the safest and the reason why I say it's the most dangerous. It's the most dangerous because most of the time that's the most amount of, the deadlift you can lift way more weight than you can on the bench press. And usually people can lift more weight on the deadlift than they can on the squat. Every once in a while, it's the other way around with the deadlift and the squat. And a lot of people, their deadlifts and squats People that do both um, frequently usually have close, you know, to what they can do on a deadlift as they, as they can on a squat. My deadlift is way ahead of my squat because I don't squat as often as I need to um, or as I used to. So my squat has greatly deplenished. Uh, if you could go to my old videos, but we ain't talk about that. The deadlift is so dangerous for different reasons. Like I was saying, your arms. If a lot of people tear their bicep on the deadlift because when they use mixed grip, which I use mixed grip, but when they use mixed grip, they do the mistake of not keeping their arms straight. I do not recommend mixed grip for a beginner. If you bend your arm, that's like trying to do a curl with however much weight that you're lifting. You know, that was just 315. Um, I bailed out. Why? Because I didn't do it because my hamstrings didn't feel comfortable. And I was not gonna tear a hamstring just for a video or just to show off for whoever in the gym or to show myself, which I've done that millions of times. Y'all see me, if you haven't seen me, go through my deadlift videos. Y'all see me, you will see me deadlift way more than that. That's three plates on each side. You will see me lift four, five plates on each side if you go through my deadlift videos. So that is nothing to me. It's not that I couldn't do it. It's not that it was a heavy amount of weight. It's just you don't have anything to prove. And that would bring me to why it's the safest lift at the same time. It's the safest, we're Dollar General. It's the safest lift at the same time because you can do exactly what I did, which is leaving a, simply. A lot of people want the complicated thing. No, a lot of people want to hear complicated stuff. Let's go in Dollar General real quick. I'm gonna talk to y'all as I go in. 
Um, a lot of people want to hear the most complicated answers they possibly, they don't want to hear the simple stuff. People want to hear what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. It's, it's usually simple. Weight loss, all this, lifting weights, is usually simple. Um, you can l simply leave it on the floor. The bench press is literally on your body. The squat is literally on your body. If you grab that bar and pull it to your chest, you gotta get it back off. If you put that squat bar on your back and go down with it, you gotta get back up. You know what I'm saying? Now there's ways of getting around that, but the deadlift, you can just simply leave it on the ground. Go in here and see what I get. I need a little bit of cookware for my videos. Y'all see I had a new pan yesterday. Um, I need some forks and some other stuff. Um, see what I get. A spatula. I don't know what I like about wood or plastic. I'm gonna get metal. I, I trust metal better because I'll be, I wanna melt stuff in my food. Have BPAs in there, so I don't know. Trust the metal a little more better. And you know what I'm saying? Some forks. Trying to get the ones at the bottom a little bit. Also, yeah, buy anything like this is not in a pack really. You never know who's been touching it. So wash it. <laughs> Get a little pot, 10 bucks. Don't you, shouldn't you already have stuff like that in your house? Oh yeah, but I be, hey man, a lot of my stuff old. I'm gonna throw it, oh, they got them in packs. Let me get that. A lot of my stuff old, so I be like, I'm throwing away a lot of stuff. All the stuff you've seen on my cooking videos, man, I throw away half that stuff. Go look at my cooking video. Some of that stuff old as crap. I know an old pan holds flavor, but at the end of the day, I just want to taste a new pan. Cause I be cooking stuff like that, man. Salmon and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna show y'all what else I got. Kinda didn't want to film more in there. Cause at the end of the day, and people be looking at you like you're stealing or something. Man, I make more money than you, dog. Not that you know that, but I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm gonna show you what else I got. And the beeper went off on me too. I don't know if they, I'm gonna have to check my own thing because I don't steal. If there's anything that I ain't paid for, I'll, I'll take it back. Got a little sleeper jumpsuit, whatever you call it, for my baby. A little shower curtain. Got some washcloths. I got some Dawn dish detergent. What else I get? All right, I guess that's it. I just thought of it. I always forget at least one thing, man. I don't know, it drives me crazy. Cause I, I know I ain't the only one that forgets stuff. But uh, like I said, I was gonna do laundry. I forgot to get laundry soap. I did get dish soap, that dish detergent. I could use that. I mean, I don't see that much of a problem. I just walk around smelling like a plate. <laughs> Yo, I don't care, man. Um. I might. I don't feel like going back to no store or nothing. Man, no, nah, man. I don't like just zigzagging and being in different stores all day. Oh, my God. God be golly, my guy. All right, we're going to pull up at this other gas station. Um, You know, I should have parked where I was at. But I'm going to spend that 50 Well, I got that 40 from earlier, and I got $10 cash back when I was at Dollar General. What are you doing? Get. Oh, people love being in the. People's favorite place to be is in the way. I don't care what nobody say. People's favorite place in the world to be is right smack dab in your way. You know what I'm saying? If you deadlifting. No, let's say you bench pressing. I do dumbbell bench press at this, the gym I just left. And um, I do barbell bench press when I'm in Clemson. Um. Dumbbell bench press and you got to grab the weights and put them back and do whatever people get right in your pathway every time Y'all so I still got the um, $150 worth of tickets I still got the $40 that I was gonna spend from earlier, but that place was closed And when I went to Dollar General, I got $10 cash back So $150 plus this 50 that's 200. This is gonna be a $200 session. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred dollars. Let's go. All right, y'all. I got my tickets and also got some laundry soap. This little bottle right here costs about four dollars. 
But I don't feel like going to no other store and I was just like, man, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. But yeah, man, it is what it is. I win it back and then some. The $50, I got two of these $10 tickets. Mighty Jumbo Bucks. I got number 28 and 29. The last two tickets are those, which I love buying the last two tickets. But shout out to um the bro, uh Travis De Niro. He say buy the first. And I've been doing like lately, I've been doing buying the first and buying the last. But I ain't been able to find first and last um but that's one of my new strategies mixing somebody else's strategy with mine i got a million strategies that all add up to one so you have to watch my lottery playlist to really understand how i scratch off uh this is the carolina bonus this is what i won yesterday on i got 27 and 28 i should have got 29 i didn't even notice what number i was getting also i got one of these right here the golden tens and I got number 26. That's out of the $50. And I also got these $200 worth of tickets. So, no, $150. So, added up $200. So, um, yeah. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I forgot that I did get some first and last. 28 and 29. Those were the last. 0, 0, 0 through 2. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 2. So, out of these are the main ones that I'm banking on out of everything. But these right here, you can win up to $500. And they usually be loaded with $500 winners. I got six of those. I got five of these, besides the ones I just showed y'all. But this is out of the 150. This ain't out of the 50 I just showed y'all. Let me show you the rest of the 150 though. That's my bad. That is 150. So I be getting confused when I do so much stuff at once. I do so much stuff in the beginning of the day. It's only like 12, it ain't even 12 o'clock. I do more stuff in a few hours than most people do all day. You make more money that way. You might spend more money that way, but you make more money that way. You do more things that way. When you're dieting, you get leaner. Why? Because you got more practice. Practice makes perfect. You knew better, you do better. Your workouts, you work out, especially lifting weights, your deadlift, your squat, and all that will improve with the times, the, the amount of times you do it. You know what I'm saying? You get better at it. Besides if you're getting hurt, so be smart. Same thing with cardio, swimming, walking, running, whatever. You get better at doing stuff if you got more practice at anything. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a beginner, you need to really understand that you are a beginner. You know, hopefully one of these lotter winners are a winner. While my girl in the kitchen cooking dinner. Let me show you, for real though. Cooking dinner. Not every dinner, this is 12 o'clock. I don't label things breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we got this salmon on a brand new pot with the brand new spatula that we just bought, you know what I'm saying? I bought this, this pot, this pan, yesterday. Yo, man, let's go, man. Eating, bro, protein. Uh, on the first $50, remember I got $150 worth of tickets left. So I have 10 plus 20, that's 30 plus 10 that's 40 and i have two losers so i got 40 bucks out of the first 50. not too shabby see what else we got though remember we you know what i'm saying we ain't done we ain't nowhere near done all right y'all we got out of 150 remember it's a 200 session so out of the 50 we just showed y'all that so out of this out of the 150. i got 10 dollars 20 30 40 50 60 so i got a big loss 60 but you gotta remember i also got the 40 so i got a hundred dollars so i lost 100 bucks which sucks but that rhymes without even trying yo that even rhymes but out of the first and last remember i was talking about I got the zero 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 the one so the first two tickets out of those one and also excuse my mattress I took the sheet off because I'm um, doing laundry. Remember that. I'm doing everything. So 28. So the second to last. And the number 17 and the number 8. But these ain't big winners. So I really don't care about the numbers on these. So at the end of the day, win some, you lose some. It is what it is. It's gambling. I'm not telling nobody what to do. I'll show you what I do. Hey, man. You just got to know you can lose. You know what I'm saying?
So remember, there's always going to be a stack of losers whenever you play like this. And a stack of losers is usually going to be more than a stack of winners. Whether you got a win session, a profit, or whatever, there's going to be more actual losers than there are winners. Just you want your winners to add up more money than the price of the losers. That's how you get a profit. This time it didn't happen. These are the losers from this session. And even though last session was a uh, um, profit session, um, these are the losers from last session. But I don't know if we're going to gamble no more or we're going to just leave it alone. Hey, my gambling addiction is not as strong as it used to be. So at the end of the day, I could just quit. Hey. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm done. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm about to go eat. Peace. So this is what we're eating. My girl cooked this. So got potatoes, some uh, rice, salmon. I'm actually reheating it because um, it got cold. I was still doing all the videos and stuff. I still got to do the voiceover for the little half workout that I did. It was all good. Um, let me flip that over. Flip over my meat. Salmon. A lot of people don't consider fish meat. I'm like, bro, it's an animal. I ain't a vegetarian or no vegan or nothing like that. No disrespect to y'all, but hey, I'm going to eat what I eat. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hey. Bruh. Hungry. Oh yeah, carbs. I eat carbs, protein, fat, everything. Count the calories. I didn't count the calories for this meal. So I'm just eating less calories for my next meal than I usually will. Just to make sure. Throw in some hot sauce. Oh, you hear that sound? It's going down. Let's talk about politics for a little bit. They're supposed to be coming out with a new stimulus check. You know, make my, my, my advice is just do good with the stimulus check. You know, I ain't telling you what to do, I'm telling you what I do. I'm using mine for need, not want. New stimulus check, money, they got child tax, child care, SSI, all that stuff, man. <laughs> Come like, cross your house, like, it's a boy, please. New stimulus check comes.